What's good, everyone? It's your homie Hermit. We're back with another reaction. This time, we have more Iron Maiden. This time, we have the number of the beast. Um, just so excited for this one. If you guys like the little tin tin hermit thing we did, I did this one yesterday in in like preparation for uh for today. Uh, tomorrow's the the big one for me though. Tomorrow's my song, man. I can't get enough of, of Hallowed Be Thy Name. But today is all about the number of the beast. So let's fucking rock. Woe to you, O earth and sea. For the devil sends the beast with wrath. Because he knows the time is short. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast. For it is a human number. Its number is 666. I love that. I lived alone. My mind was blank. I needed time to think, to get the memories from my mind. What did I see? What I saw that night was real and not just fantasy Just what I saw In my old dreams Were the reflections of my warm mind staring back at me Cause in my dreams It's always there In a face that twists my mind Did not disappoint on that. He fucking nailed it. make that motherfucker scream can he now i i like the fan charge did he charge the stage hop up there just to go like this and touch steve harris he, oh, that's all he did was want to touch him Head up by the 
<laughs> Dude, the pyrotechnics on that song were insane i love the number of the beast uh banner in the background dude that's so cool um or the backdrop i've i gotta say now i saw that and it reminded me one of the homies sent me pictures of uh he was at the austin show and he was like i don't want to spoil too much but he sent me a couple pictures and one of them was Bruce singing. And I saw the set and the, like the stage and everything. The stage looks incredible. It it looked amazing, dude. I, I uh, if you're going and seeing him on this uh, on this tour, you're lucky. <laughs> I'm jealous. Um, but dude, they killed it. They killed it on this one. Um, I I gotta say that. The, the guys who put the pyrotechnic show together, they nailed this song. I love how they it was just black, and then you heard Bruce start doing that monologue. I wonder how long those guys were in the dark screaming for Iron Maiden to come back out before you heard him start doing that and saw those red lights on stage. That would have been fucking wild. The, the closest thing I have that I've experienced to compare that to is when Blink-182 took the stage. They uh, It was their reunion tour. Everybody was just, we we're just sitting there. It was like, it had been like 20 minutes since the band before had gone off stage. And everyone was like, all right, when are they going to come out? It's dark. You know, everyone's just fucking sitting around waiting. And then all of a sudden the banner drops, the lights are on, they're playing a song. It was badass. But this dude, I bet that would have been a bone chilling experience. That would have been fucking cool. Um, I, I'm just happy to watch the live performances, man, instead of just hear them. I. Uh, Big shout out to all the uh, Patreon supporters, all the homies checking us out over on TikTok, on Instagram, and during our live streams. Uh, dude, I tomorrow, for me, tomorrow's the one I've been waiting for. And they made me wait for it. But it was one hell of a show to, to listen to before we got there. So I'm all right with the journey, man. It just... I, I, I heard, I saw a few comments when I was asking, what's your favorite one on this? I saw a couple people go, hallowed be thy name. And I'm like, yeah, that means it's great. The whole, the whole concert's been great so far, but yeah. Uh, anyways, you all have an amazing rest of your day. We'll catch you at the next one. Peace.